Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will talk about packages. What they are, how to install them, how to load them into R and so forth. For those of you who came here just to learn the commands and want to skip all the blah blah about what a package actually is, I've added a timestamp in the description of the video where you can skip ahead to where I discuss the commands. For all the others, let's get started. A package is a container for functions, code, data, documentation and tests. They, so all these tools, can be seen and used by all users who have installed the given package. So packages are something extremely useful and indispensable when working with R. Because they allow you to use the work of others. And because R is open source, anybody can create a package. Even you could create a package and then share your work with all of us. So in our studio, you have a pane here on the right hand side which shows you all the packages that are already installed on your computer. So you have the name of the package, a short description which tells you in what context to use the package and the version. There's the user library, so these are all the packages I've already installed myself manually. And then if you scroll down, here's also the system library. Here are all the packages listed that uh, come with the installation of R in R Studio itself automatically. Now, if you want to know what uh, a certain package contains, you can just click on it. So, for example, I can, can click here on the base package of R. This is also equivalent, by the way, to typing help and then package equals and then base. Uh, this will get you also here. So here is the documentation of the base package. Yeah, We have a description file here and uh, whatnot. And also here all the elements that are contained in the package. So mostly there are functions here. Yeah. So for example, you can click on a function and then it opens the documentation of the function. Yeah. We already discussed this in the second video of this series. Uh, this is equivalent to just typing question mark and then the function. So all equal. And then it will also get you here. Uh, by the way, if you're on the documentation page of a function, you can also see in these curly brackets what package they're from. But more importantly, when you've, once you've installed a package, you may use all the elements, so mostly functions in the case of the base package, uh, that are here listed. Yeah? But they don't have to be functions necessarily. They can also be data sets. For example, if you go uh, here to the data set, package that is also uh, pre-installed by R. Uh, there are a lot of data sets uh, listed you may use. But now, how do you actually install a package in R? Well, there are several ways to do it. One of them is you type in the console install that packages and then in parentheses the package name. Yeah? So for example I will now install a package called readxl. Yeah? This uh, will help you importing data that uh, is in Excel files. So uh, this will be something I will use in a later video. Yeah, so this uh, is already it. It has now downloaded uh, the package from the website. Of course, your computer has to be connected to the internet. And you can also go now to the library here on the right hand side and scroll down to read. And then you see here readxl is now installed. Alternatively, you can also click on this install button right here. This will open up this window and you can just type in here your package. Yeah? Here actually R offers an autocomplete. So I type in read XL and you can also tick this box here which says install dependencies. So in some packages, some functions depend on the use of other packages. So if you tick this box, all those uh, dependent packages are also installed with it. Click install and then it will do the same thing again. So once you've installed a package on your computer, uh, it's basically there uh, for life unless you uninstall it. However, to use uh, the functions and tools that are in a given package, you still have to load it into R. And you do this by typing here library and then the package. But here you don't have to put it in parentheses. And actually you must not put it in parentheses. So I type in here read XL and then it will load into R. You can also see when a package is loaded that here the box 
next to the name of the packages is ticked now. Yeah. So if I untick this box, then it will detach again. And if I tick it again, it will load again. So this you actually have to do every time you load a new R session. So every time you reopen R Studio, you have to, uh, if you want to use a function of a certain package, you have to load it into R with this library command. And I will also show you now that uh, you can actually use those functions. So if you go here on the read XL documentation, there is here on the bottom this read xlsx function, which lets you read Excel files into R. I will definitely do a separate video on how to load data and import data into R, so don't worry about that for the moment. Uh, but here, just a quick preview. Um, in my files here, I have this nba.xlsx file, and if I want to load it into R, I can use uh, this package and also this function, read xlsx, and then in parentheses I can type in nba.xlsx, enter, and then it will load into R. So uh, just for a quick comparison, if I don't have this uh, package loaded into my R workspace, so if I detach it, and then I try to run this command read xlsx and then this uh, data file, then it will give me an error that it could not find the function. Yeah? So it's imperative if you want to use a function of a package that you load the package first into R. If you want to check what packages you have currently loaded in your workspace, you can type in search and then an opening bracket and a closing bracket. And this will give you all the packages that are loaded here. It says package and then a colon and then the package name. So all of these are currently loaded in my uh, workspace. If I want to uninstall a package, I just type in remove that packages and then in parentheses the name. So if I want to uninstall readxl, I type this in and then press enter. And if I go now here to packages, and go here down to read again, you see it's no longer there. There's one more important thing I want to show you. Sometimes it can be the case that a function of a package masks the function of another package. So, for example, this is often the case with the package tidyverse. Uh, tidyverse is actually uh, a collection of uh, packages in R. I just have to restart R real quick to install tidyverse. And uh, yeah, it's very common that you come across uh, one of the packages in your daily use with R. And uh, if I load now this tidyverse package into R, you will see that here it says something conflicts. And here it says dplyr filter masks stats filter and also the lag function. So this means that both the dplyr package and the stats package have a function called filter. And if you now type in filter, R really doesn't know which function it should use. The filter function of the dplyr package or the filter function of the stats package. So in order to specify which filter function you mean, you type in stats and then a double colon and then filter, for example, or dplyr and then a double colon. Yeah? It will also work if you just type in filter. But here R will use the function of the package that was most recently loaded into your workspace. But for the sake of clarity, I can really recommend you using the version with the double colon so that everyone knows which function you're using. For an overview of all the packages that R has to offer, you can go to Google, type in R packages, and then go here to the CRAN R project website. And here you have all the packages from A to Z listed. You can also click on them and yeah, let off some steam and read about all the cool things you can do with R. Yeah, this concludes this video. Uh, if you have any feedback or recommendations for future videos, I would very much appreciate it if you could leave them in the comments. comments. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope this video was helpful. See you soon and take care. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. If you would like to support this channel financially, there is a donation link in the description.